Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokken Battle video. So in this video we are going to take a look at the update to the Ginyu Force Saga event or the Ginyu Force Saga Extreme Z area. Uh, and this is the update that has brought the final Ginyu Force member, Captain Ginyu. So obviously uh, we got a new stage added, stage 5 for Captain Ginyu. And Captain Ginyu needs Sagesh as his required character. Uh, as always, you're going to probably want to farm the Team Bardock before doing this. Uh, with Stage 5 being an addition, we have two new difficulties, and that means two new extra stones. And as per usual, going to the left and right designates different medals. Left on the first difficulty is bronze, right is silver, left on the second is gold, right is rainbow. But Captain Ginyu gets a really good upgrade. He gets attack and defense 170%, key plus 3 plus an additional attack and defense of 100% when fighting a single enemy, attack plus 50% reduces damage received by 50% when fighting two or more, and he gains an additional 50% attack and breaks guard when he is with other Ginyu force members. So ideally a very very strong unit and this makes perfect sense considering he is the strongest captain, well member of the Ginyu force. We also get three new missions along with the stage, uh, they follow the same template as before, finish the stage 10 times and you'll receive a little bit of money back and some stones, basically one stone. Of course as I mentioned previously, you're going to want to make sure that you have done the Team Bardock members so that you can use them for the Ginyu Force stage along with using the various Ginyu Force members, uh, whichever one is appropriate for the stage. You can start to use pretty much the whole Ginyu Force team if you want. They're so strong that they can just ignore the friend lead basically at this point, but I'm just giving you guys some options here. So obviously we're going to build our team out, uh, same standard as before, we're going to take the LR Bardock as our lead and then we're just going to fill up the team with the appropriate uh, team Bardock members and then we'll just slot in Captain Ginyu. Because Captain Ginyu is a Int type, we're not going to take the Tech type Tora as it's just not really going to help us out. Well actually, we, I mean we're just going to take him. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can drop out Tora. Uh, and you can put in Fasha or anything else. It really doesn't matter too much. You shouldn't have too many difficulties with this stage. So as I said before, left is obviously bronze, right is silver, and you still have a chance at getting a question mark, which will give you a bonus of one run's worth of medals for a randomized color. Uh, you can stun and seal Captain Ginyu, as you could stun and seal the other Ginyu Force members. So pretty much everything is the same as before. There's no marketable difference between any of these uh, real stages or anything like that. Uh, it's all the same kind of difficulty. Uh, they haven't really ramped anything up for Captain Ginyu or anything like that. So you shouldn't really have any problems. And we won't have any problems as we finish the fight. And of course we get our training items and finish this difficulty. Now, as always, with an Extreme Z area or with an EZA, you are going to need 15 bronze medals, 30, well, 42 silver medals, sorry, 30 gold medals, and 30 rainbow medals. This should approximately take you technically six attempts on each difficulty, three for each kind of medal, but of course, you should have a good chance of getting at least the question mark a couple times which usually knocks us down to around about 10 or so runs generally five on each uh, but yeah uh, that's generally what it gets knocked down to as always i suggest alternating between the metal types so that you can best accommodate the question mark when you get it you don't want to end up farming all the bronze medals and then getting a question mark and that question mark turns out to be bronze you would have literally just wasted some time so here we've uh, managed to powerfully skip through time. Uh, you can see I've farmed all the medals and everything for the next stage of Captain Ginyu and now we're ready to move on to the next difficulty. So if you come here you can see obviously on the left hand side we will have gold medals and of course on the right hand side we will have rainbow medals. The stage is more difficult than the previous one but if you have easy aid Captain Ginyu up to level 130 you shouldn't necessarily have that many problems. 
realistically it's not that difficult a stage you can seal captain ginyu you can stun captain ginyu so you have quite a few options with which to handle him so it's not like outwardly difficult it is just a little bit tougher than the previous stage uh, only real thing is if you bring Tora, uh, you just have to be slightly careful of Tora, uh, and that's realistically about it. Uh, he's the only real weakness in the team, and if you put Farsha in the team, you immediately eliminate, eliminate that weakness. So, yeah, really there's nothing too crazy that you need to be concerned about. So, obviously we've got the team Bardock, they do good damage. We've got Bardock himself, who seals as well, which is always helpful. Uh, and then we should be more than fine to finish off the stage next run. So, yeah, uh, pretty straightforward again, not too hard or anything. Follows the same level of difficulty as the previous uh, Ginyu Force EZA area events and isn't really something that you need to be too concerned about. Uh, so we'll clear that up with Sagesh and then we have finished the stage. Uh, remember, you're going to need 30 gold and 30 rainbow medals, but the same ruling applies. You'll probably have to try each difficulty three times, and you should get a question mark at least once, which means you'll have five attempts on this difficulty, probably in total. Uh, so if you really want to do the maths, uh, that's 60 plus 125 stamina, which means about 185 stamina, uh, depending on how lucky you are to complete the stage. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, pretty good so far. Uh, I have not finished all the missions because I actually uh, got double question marks. So, yeah, um, pretty interesting. But I'm going to have to go back and finish one more take on the mission uh, just so I can obviously get my stage done. And we're going to just awaken Captain Ginyu. He's going to get his 140 level boost. And, of course... Uh, what we'll do here is we'll give him some Kai's, not those ones, yes, these ones, uh, the Int Grand Kai's. Uh, I will show you guys where you can get these Int Grand, Grand Kai's. You can get them uh, from the trial towards a new horizon, uh, the second stage that's been added in for the Ginyu Force. Uh, but I'll highlight that to you guys briefly. I have mentioned it before, I've done a video on it. Uh, but it is where you'll get the Kai's for the Ginyu Force. But yeah, obviously Ginyu's easy A. Uh, looks really, really good. He becomes a signature pose, pseudo lead at 77%. And he becomes really solid and a really good unit for SBR due to his damage reduction that kicks in against multiple enemies. So all in all, Captain Ginyu looking really, really sharp, really, really good. And yeah, just in general, a super rock solid unit. We'll just quickly touch up on that stage I mentioned earlier uh, the trial towards a new horizon uh, just so you guys can see where it is you have a special mission in this stage uh, to complete it 20 times uh, and by completing it 20 times there we go a trial towards a new horizon you'll see there's two stages uh, the second stage is the Ginyu Force one. It will drop tickets that you can spend on Ginyu Force gear. But if you complete it 20 times, you will receive five Kai's of each different color. And that's about it. So let me, guys, let me know, guys, in the comments how you're finding the Ginyu Force CZAs. And as always, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.